I watch him play. He's the only quarterback, pro or collegiate, that the way he plays reminds me of Patrick. He is a completely different level player. I've had multiple executives tell me the comp with Mahomes feels really accurate. There's only one 10 out of 10 that I've seen, and that's Andrew Luck. When Trevor Lawrence came out, I thought he was the best since Andrew. Um, Caleb Williams is the best since Andrew. I mean, if he's not a 10, he's a 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. From winning the Heisman Trophy during his sophomore campaign and putting USC back on the map, Caleb Williams is about to turn the NFL upside down and be a generational talent at the quarterback position. And he hasn't even taken a snap in the league yet. And it's because of these three reasons. For starters, I'm not saying he's gonna be better than Mahomes, but if you just squint a little and look at his play style, it does have some similarities to Mahomes. And not only that, but people are even drawing comparisons to not only Mahomes, but even Jalen Hurts. He's a very, very smart and very detailed um, um, athlete and, and human. And so I, I for sure have, have taken a couple of things from him. But. Some people have even said that he's the best talent coming out of the draft since Andrew Luck. There's only one 10 out of 10 that I've seen, and that's Andrew Luck. When Trevor Lawrence came out, I thought he was the best since Andrew. Caleb Williams is the best since Andrew. And that's saying a lot, because Hurts and Luck alone have already built up an amazing career full of accolades. But on top of that, all Mahomes has done since being drafted at the number 10 pick in the 2017 draft is win two Super Bowls, two MVP awards, be elected to five Pro Bowls, and win the 2018 Offensive Player of the Year award. So that's not too shabby. One thing that he he never did though is win the Heisman Trophy, something Williams did last season with the Trojans as a sophomore after throwing for 4,357 yards, 42 touchdowns, and just five interceptions while completing 66.6% of his passes. Some analysts are already saying he's like a refined Mahomes. You know, people forget this with Mahomes. Mahomes is 6'2". So I, I do think this is Mahomes. I think he sees the field, his escapability. I don't think it's a crazy comp. I mean, People were saying Joe Burrow was Brady and nobody freaked out. I think this is the Mahomes comp. I think he's a more refined, more winning college version of him. It's hard to compare anybody to Mahomes, but he really does play like him and is such a dynamic passer like Mahomes. He made a lot of throws while avoiding and escaping the rush, on the move, or while under duress, where he couldn't drop back, plant, hitch, and deliver. In all these scenarios, he showed he could place the ball anywhere he wants and quickly, explosively, or even with just touch. And just as Mahomes-esque, he is instinctive in delivering from multiple arm angles to get the ball up and out quickly in any situation. And while his arm talent is without a doubt amazing, Williams also draws comparisons to Mahomes because of his special playmaking ability that jumps off the screen. Williams has an uncanny playmaking ability to create explosive plays out of chaos. His resourcefulness and consistent ability to extend and create the big play are unique. And the film shows it. He has game-defining play out of nothing time and time again. Whether it's escaping tight pressure in the pocket, breaking loose from tackling attempts, or even running out of the pocket in a random direction, Williams consistently finished plays that made him look like a magician on grass. And although he's not as twitchy athletically as say Lamar Jackson or even Kyler Murray, he does have enough athleticism to be a credible rushing threat and escape artist. Like most elite quarterbacks, Williams is courageous in the pocket with a natural ability to step up and deliver with great vision. He continually made accurate throws without a proper base, off platform, or on the move to his right or left. Hell, sometimes the kid would even jump and throw from awkward angles off of his feet. But that's what makes him so unique as a playmaker. Williams consistently thrived under duress with poise, calm, and explosive playmaking ability. All of this despite getting only sufficient offensive line play from an injury-plagued unit, a lack of pass protection help from running backs and tight ends, and facing an abundance of five and six-man pressures in front of him to help keep him in the pocket. And and while some players with Williams' playmaking instincts can lose their minds and become reckless, this 21-year-old almost always seemed to make the right play when things broke down. It almost gives that Patrick Mahomes feel where he doesn't know really where to go with the ball at the time, but then all of a sudden he just chucks it and there's a wide open receiver just laying right there to catch the ball. He rarely looked panicked or rattled while making so many spontaneous decisions like this. The ability to protect the ball is one of the quarterback's most important jobs. And the only thing I would say about, about Caleb is 
there are times where maybe he takes maybe too many chances. And Williams is good in this facet despite his gunslinging mentality. It's almost like Williams has a maturity level above most kids at this age, which is impressive for a second year college player. His leadership qualities are obvious on tape based by his demeanor and communication skills and total control of the line of scrimmage. And what I love most about him that the great ones all have, he plays the game with a sense of calm. A sense of calm. He knows he's better than you, mm. right? He's gonna run just fast enough that you can't catch him down the field to see if anybody if play breaks down and there's nothing available williams has the presence of mind to throw the ball away and live for another down with natural accuracy arm talent houdini level playmaking and high-end maturity williams has an excellent foundation to build all of this on but his coach is an even better asset for him lincoln riley's quarterback resume is nothing to brush off either with the type of guys he's been able to put out from his offensive system riley's offense put caleb williams in shotgun most of the time and consisted of drop back passes with mixes of play action and full movement passes outside the framework of the pocket. USC's passing game is extremely creative yet very simple, giving Williams a majority of one read concepts mixed with a few progression reads, allowing him to finish his progression and then kick the ball out to a flare running back. His completion percentage is bolstered by numerous quick game concepts such as screens and bubbles, but that shouldn't take away from Caleb's remarkable talent. Now, with all of these positive things about him too, I'm not saying he doesn't have anything to work on either. Ball security, footwork, and just simply reading coverages are all still things he needs to work on and by making sure that he isn't drifting too much in the pocket are all fixes that are possible to be coached up on and there is no reason he can't make significant strides as he continues to mature as a player in the coming years. And honestly, despite all of these comparisons, Williams has come out on his own and said that he knows Mahomes is the best quarterback in the game and that he himself has a lot of work to still do to make sure he can reach that level of play one day. And even his head coach said, So obviously Pat Mahomes is the best quarterback in the world and that's a flattering comp, but Caleb's got a long way to go to get to that. But teams are still noticing how good he is. And honestly, it would make sense for a team to pass on trying to draft a quarterback from this year's class or even sign one in the offseason for a chance to get Williams in the 2024 NFL draft. And if all these comparisons are correct and true, then it's a no-brainer to tank for him. So we'll see you later, Kyler Murray. But nonetheless, Williams has got a lot of eyes on him this year and work to do if he wants to live up to the Patrick Mahomes hype and only being a 27-year-old that has two Super Bowl rings, two Super Bowl MVP awards, and two NFL MVP awards. So, needless to say, that this is quite the trajectory for USC's quarterback phenom, Caleb Williams.